So Donald Trump uh, obviously having dementia issues, right? That's what it looks like. That's what these experts are saying. That's what these professional psychologists and mental health experts are all going about. And that's okay. That's cool. Uh, and I listened to a few progressive outlets really rail on that. And they keep throwing it into the public space. That's nice. That's nice. They talk about Biden slowing down. He's got gaffes. Comparing gaffes to straight up slippage of the mind, slurring words, forgetting who anyone is. Yes. Okay. Um, and they're rallying things. They, they want you to know. I mean, they are really sounding the war drums on you have to vote against putting someone like Trump with clear signs or alleged clear signs of dementia in office. They, 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 I mean, they're really getting behind this. And I mean, they're throwing it out all the time. Now, personally, how do I feel? Man, because they had the chance to do what was right. See, they don't want Biden in. They want anyone but Biden in. But they would not consistently share with you who is also running for the Democratic presidential uh, candidacy. They, they would not tell you that. They would they wouldn't tell you about Uger Johnson, Marion Wilson Williams. Um, they wouldn't tell you about them. They would you know when it came to the Republicans, they couldn't wait to tell you everybody that was running for that. Everybody was trying to get that, even though the media would only talk about Trump and Biden. So I'm just trying to figure out how do you reconcile not blasting through the airways. And I'm talking these, these pro progressive and alleged democratic uh, pundits, outlets, uh, news and reporting, all these people. How do you reconcile this? You don't mention the candidates that are trying to replace Biden because they need better. We need better. But you will talk about Biden and Trump all day to the point you neglect that there are others out there running. And now that is crunch time. Now that the Democratic Party, they didn't mention these people running. They would not hold a primary properly. They would not allow others to know about them. They would not fund these people that are running for presidency. And you've got the people out there that are supporting this saying, look, all these people running for Biden's spot, they're just going to split the vote when they can't split the vote yet because they're all in the same party, running under the same ticket. Democrat, that's it. How do you reconcile that? Not in, in, informing the people and then it gets to this point and you still won't inform the people, but you still say you got to, vote against Trump for Biden, who you don't want there, but you didn't do the things to help sure that he wouldn't be there. How do you do that? I, I, don't, I don't know how you can do that. There's a train coming, but you don't tell the people that the train is coming. You just tell them that they need to be prepared to board the train. You need to ride this train. But you need to also tell them to look down and step about 20 feet off the track. You didn't tell them to get off the tracks. Now they're going to get hit. And all you had to do for the past eight months was tell them, look down, get off the tracks. It's almost akin of telling them to don't look up. If anyone's ever seen that movie. But it's just me saying it. And I got off the tracks. I didn't want to be on those tracks. When that train hit, I can at least say I want one of them. They didn't try to help you. I saved myself. All y'all got to do is look down. There's still time. Look down. Step to the left, to the right, about 20 feet. And, you know, pick somebody in the primary. Write a name in. It worked for Biden. They wrote his name in. He wasn't even on the ballot and he won. You know, letting y'all know. 
Peace.